Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Talk to me about um, kind of the day to day with the owners and what your what are your experiences with them like because I've said a few times on different podcasts about what my my experience has been with them like and how they are as owners. Um, for me, they are just they're top, mate, aren't they? They yeah. are top top class. I think people are probably bored of hearing it. Yeah, um, they're unbelievable. Um, since I walked through the door, you know, Rob and Ryan have been unbelievable with me and my family. They're so humble and so down to earth. The amount of time they give us is incredible. If I was to ring, you know, Ryan on FaceTime tomorrow, 11 a.m., he'd pick up. He's good to He's go. He's the busiest guy in the world, right? <laughs> I don't, both, I don't, they're both on it all I the don't time, know. This is one thing I was going to ask you about. How I don't know how. God's green I don't earth know, do they do it? I don't know when they sleep. Rob, I'll message Rob at 8 a.m., so it's like 4 a.m. for him. I'm like, <laughs> I'm messaging before, and I'm like, Rob, da 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 um, And I've gone... 4 a.m. and then he's replied back and I'm like, sorry, did I wake you up, mate? He's like, no, 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 just on my way to the gym. And I'm like, what? Oh, the? yeah. It's like they're both. Rob and Ryan are just so hardworking, and you know, I kind of feel that that the damn if they do, damn if they don't, right? Because as owners of football clubs, there's been so much negative press towards owners that have burnt down football clubs yeah, and yeah, liquidated yeah. football Sold clubs, off, yeah. and they've had you know, and they get shamed and abused, and you're this, you're that. We've got good owners that are doing great things, not just for a football club and the people, but the whole community. And they still get stick, obviously from other football clubs yeah, and yeah, other football yeah, yeah. Clubs. But it's like, what do you want? Do you want a knobhead yeah. that's going to liquidate a football club or do you want two great guys that are going, yeah. don't be jealous. It's what like, it is. That's all it is, it mate. Is it's jealousy. It is. It's pure but jealousy. This is, this jealous. this is, this is, is, this is, just, sorry, mate. Just go on. be happy. Yeah, and this is going to set, I saw yesterday on something that, the NFL player JJ Watt has got a small share in Burnley. Burnley, yeah. Yeah, I've seen and this. you look at this and you go, well, "When does this like? When's this going to start and end?" I mean, it's great because they're not going to like look, look at the money. They obviously got very wealthy owners and yeah. stuff, but they ain't coming and buying Man United. So where do you start? And look at everyone will look at Wrexham and go, "Look at the project." So yeah. they're going to start but in listen, League Two. It's actually National not League. as easy as what as what you're saying because there's there's names as. Mm. Big as them that own football clubs, lower league, Ed Sheeran, yeah, Ipswich, yeah. yeah, you know, I don't know what he shares, but he's a part owner. Has he done what these two guys have done? Very Nowhere true. near it. Nowhere Nowhere they near. have just been promoting in fairness to them, but yeah, still, but they, he, Ed Sheeran's yeah, but been there just for, on, Ed Sheeran's not with that been level for, no chance. How long has Ed Sheeran <clears> been there? Like six <clears> years, yeah, seven years, now, yeah, yeah. And he's as he, no, he's as big as yeah. Ryan and Rob, right? He's a, Ed Sheeran's huge. Yeah. Huge. I'm still not putting him in their bracket, though. I'm, I'm not. putting Ed Sheeran up there. I think I'm so. Ed, has he should done... We do, should we do an Instagram uh, comparison between the two, yeah. all right? right? And <laughs> I'll ask you, has Ed Sheeran done as much for Ipswich as what Rob and Ryan have done? It's not easy what they're yeah. doing. They make it look easy. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. And I'm sure Ed Sheeran's a great guy. I'm just trying to leverage what Rob and Ryan have done. Yeah. And it's not just the status, the hard work they've put in. Right, sure here we go then. Road. Oh, actually, it's not far off, you know. I'm, I'm just going go, up Insta alone here. Okay, I'm going to yeah? go. I'm going to go. Ed Sheeran's got more. No, so, it's not. So, it's not. So Ryan's got 49 and a half mil. 49 and a half mil. Ed Sheeran's 41. 43 and a half mil. Wow. So he's, he's a. He's Plus a six. Rob's one mil. Don't forget about yeah. Rob's one mil. <laughs> Come on. So combined. <laughs> one mil, yeah. That's one thing. That's one of the things that Rob said to us, actually, when he sat us down. He was like, lads, listen, I, you know, anything you want to do, we'll get behind it. We, you know, we'll, we'll back it. So he says, listen, I've got like I've got like a couple mil on Instagram <laughs> and he, he even laughs with it he buzzes off it he, he says he combined you know between me and Ryan yeah between me and Ryan <laughs> <laughs> he's like I've got a mil uh, Ryan's got 50 mil yeah. he's like but either way we'll back you yeah we'll put your stuff we'll repost it we'll make posts of it we'll put stories is that like there. the 61 goals in the um, yeah in the strike force Moses has got 59 yeah. no, 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 no 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 oh. <laughs> I've got 30 <laughs> in 62 stars, yeah. actually. I've got you 30 ain't scored a goal 62. since I signed. Have I not? You haven't scored a oh goal since God. I signed. Sorry, mate. I'm that's sorry. Quite, you can't kick the ball that's up right. to me. That's yeah. why. So let me, let me ask you both a question then. So, Fozzie, when you've gone into training, so um, I was listening to Mark. I don't think I've been in the f- team too, haven't I? Since <laughs> I know, yeah, you have been playing. You've been in and out. And you're... When you did um, Mark's podcast, uh, Mark joked about... Um, that first day in training, he said, he was very polite, wasn't he? He said, yeah, Ben was a little bit rusty. And who, that. who said that? Mark no, Trump, Trump said it about me, yeah. <laughs> just, just I'll tell you the truth. Oh, the ball good. come into him, right? And he's just pinged out of play <laughs> under no pressure. I'm like, who the f*** 
fuck is this guy? <laughs> Balls come into him and let, you know, everyone's like, yeah, Ben oh, Foster's is a class. Man. England, Watford, Man United. Ball, I'm talking back pass that my daughter could kick back. So comes back to him, punches it straight off the hill. And I'm like, the who's this fuck? guy? Send him back to the return. Oh, that's me, a true yeah. story. That's that a genuinely a true, true story. story. Yeah, and yeah. then the penalty save happened, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to live off the penalty save. Yeah, you got it. I would. Right. Yeah, I right. felt <laughs> as good in that moment as I have scoring any goal for this club. Stockport, Chesterfield, <laughs> whatever. That moment for me uh, was... I honestly, I think I, I say I honestly think that thirty seconds, yeah, that thirty seconds from penalty save, mm. yeah, because not only that, the emotion of giving a penalty against you, yeah. it's like the lowest of low, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh man, we've just battled ninety six minutes. Corner though, yeah. when it went for the corner, everyone was in, what, it was what? like in themselves. I know. The the, the pen, then so the low of the low, and then the penalty save happens, and it's the highest of the high, and it's <laughs> like, oh my god! But then you've got to try and stabilize a little bit because yeah. you know you've got a corner to deal Could with. Could you imagine? Still. And by the way, I don't think anyone's acknowledged how good Elliot Lee's header is off the line, almost off the line. Yeah, because he's got a man, he's got two men behind him on in there. Yeah, exactly. He's that. Got, I think Ben had let his man yeah, go. Let him go. So yeah. he, Elliot had his man and Ben's man behind him. If he doesn't get of course, out there, yeah. head it away. <laughs> <laughs> they score. Imagine and that. And we've gone from oh. down all the way up to like the highest. <laughs> well, <laughs> back, all the way back down to the lowest again. That would have been. That was an ins it was, it was an insane 30 seconds yeah. of just pure like. So we're full time. Everybody is just. You don't really know what to do, do you? You just no. want to jump and run and yeah. like grab people and hug people. That's all I'd you can do, off, honestly. I? I come off about 75th minutes. So watching the last 50 minutes was worse than Agony. any minute of the game. Watching it unfold, just thinking, please, 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 please. And then when that penny come, I was like. Oh my god! I didn't even see what, it ha what happened. It's so it, I didn't see. It Owen, was a handball. Yeah, it, I didn't see probably, Owen catch it, yeah, it was know? probably was a handball <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, I didn't see but Owen catch that, it. It must have thought a final whistle. And got it. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, that's right. But th that was a mad game, right? So Notts County, obviously, like shout out to Notts County by the way, because their season, yeah. the season that they've had, like they deserve to go. They oh, should go. Up. I hope and they go up. We do. We hope they go up for the playoff for sure. Um, but that game was just a complete contrast of two footballing styles, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, th they play this. Almost gung ho, kind of high line, right? It's ridiculous at times, yeah. wasn't it? And it was funny because <laughs> I felt so bad for you, right? Because if we, if you watch back the game, that first half, right, you got given offside about five or six times, In a literally row. five or six times, yeah. yeah. No, no. And it, from where I was, from, sort of from where I was standing, yeah, I'm fuming. I'm going, Ollie, you big twat! Stop being offside! You Stop call being me offside! A twat. You call Stop me a twat. being offside! Right? I'm fuming. Right? And even at half time, Gaffer comes in at half time, doesn't he? And he mullers you. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, any f chance, stand outside. And I was like, I'm on side. I can't bend my run anymore. What I should have said was, if I bend my run anymore, I'll be in the fucking dugout. You know what I mean? I'll be running down the tunnel. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was going to be about 10-0 I just said to him I'm, I'm bending my run and he was like well fucking bend it more, more. bend and it I'm more like, it but then obviously you look back at the replay you, well we look back at the first half and it's like oh he onside. was onside that one onside. Oh, onside he was onside that one as well onside. and that one oh god did he ever say sorry actually to you did he ever just point you and go yeah well done mate oh, you know it's my fault yes <laughs> he didn't, he didn't. Of course he did. I did go oh. up to him and I said Gaffer you see the offside yeah, and he, he went yeah we're putting in a complaint I was like sorry <laughs> no nothing no. <laughs> but that was like that game in a nutshell they they were playing this crazy high line and we were it like it was nuts well that's playing into our hands almost yeah, yeah, yeah. that is playing into our what hands what I've always said it? about them is they're an unbelievable football team right they play great soccer which is good for them great I wouldn't I don't totally agree with that because I think the percentages of actually scoring from a goal from you know from a goal kick playing out that much is really low anyway yeah. um, and we're just a well old machine that can do everything yeah. we can play we can go long we can score from set pieces free kicks we can score tap-ins we, we can do everything and that's why I think we're such a good team Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.